come on in, two sisters tell, gather round everyone. I have here my trusty magic gate off. Let's take a look inside, see what it has to show us today. Take what resonates and leave out the rest. If you don't resonate with the reading, feel free to check out my other videos. You may have some messages there. Now without further ado, let's start the reading. I hope you had a good weekend and that everything went well and that you're, you're having a good week so far. Now it's just starting the week off. And I hope everything is going well for you. We have the star. Oh, and I'm using the anime tarot. the sun Nine of Pentacles. And the Strength card, or Strength. At the bottom of the deck we have Seven of Swords. We're going to start with the star card. You're starting to feel replenished at this time, or soon will be. And you're also being recognized for who you are. And you're able to rejuvenate not only yourself, but others that you come in contact with. So you may be a form of a healer in some way. And then we have the sun card. I'm picking up, you have a very happy type of personality and wherever you go not only do you shine like the star but the sun so you have this type of personality and energy about you that's very uplifting and with this right here where I'm picking up with I think that's a piece of cake you really fulfill you're able to fill people's spirits the way that you are so you're uplifting and you're fulfilling in the way that you are and about how you go about things. And your energy is just uplifting and people enjoy being around you. And then we have the Nine of Pentacles. So you're about to come into your wish fulfillment and you're quite content. And I, I, I'm picking up that many people like to try to come near you in some way. 
and people like to not only be in the presence of where you of you but they like to get to know you in any way that they can and that you have this not only outer beauty but this inner beauty about you that's what i'm picking up from the star card here and then we have strength so you're very strong in who you are so you might have a, a strong presence or a strong personality in some way and people take notice to that and I'm also picking up with the way that with these eyes the way they're looking right here people really keep their eye on you in a good way but then you also have with the seven of swords you also have deceptive people that's watching you so I'm picking up not only are you aware of this you're not letting that t bring you down. You're going to still stay uplifted and keep going because you have this, um, I'm trying to think the right word that I'm trying to, that's trying to come through. Optimistic. You have an optimistic type of way of looking at things. Not saying it can't ever be, you know, pessimistic at times, but you have this positive outlook on things and people take notice of that as well and also those that, that don't necessarily like that situation they, not, they don't like that you're that way but you have genuine supporters around you to outshine those that don't have your best interests at heart so you know you're able to see through any people that are trying to bring any sort of deception your way but you don't let it bring you down are you and detour you in any way let me see what i'm getting overall or if i need to bring any more cards into the situation before i move on to the oracle I, I'm, I'm feeling pulled to get some more uh, get a card to clarify the seven of swords more to see what needs to be said in case there's advice on this situation that needs to be brought upon or brought up We have the six of wands in reverse okay someone's trying to keep you from being able to have opportunities come your way so that's the ones you need to really be watching out for they don't like like that you're rising up and becoming who you're meant to become or serving your purpose so that's the ones that you need to be watch, watching out for as you're coming up they're trying to keep you from having the six of wands of having your public recognition or some recognition in some way even if it's not publicly so you need to be watchful of that. Let me see what advice that can be given in this situation. We have the lovers. I'm picking up no matter how they are you keeping your loving self is what I'm picking up so even when they're trying to show, throw shade at you you still keep being vibrating at a higher energy and frequency and being a loving person that you are you I'm, I'm picking up your very loving person especially with all this energy I'm getting here so keep being genuinely you and living out your purpose and look, keep loving what you do and don't let this shade keep you down or bring you down in any sort of way i'm gonna see what I'm, let me see what that's about on the deck we have three of wands so your ships are gonna come in they might be trying to keep it from happening but it's not gonna happen your ships are still going to come in is what i'm picking up and that card wanted to come out so we have page of swords so you definitely have some watchful eyes you have i'm picking up there's good energy in that too so there's people that genuinely support you watching you but people that don't want to see you succeed or spying on you is what I'm picking up and watching you. That's also what I was getting from this right here, like spying energy. But you have the upper ground with the strength card here. And with all the surrounding cards that you have, you have what it takes to keep pushing forward. So don't let this bring you down in any sort of way. You just keep doing you. And everything will work out in your favor.
I'm gonna make sure I don't need to get anything else before moving on to the Oracle. I'm being drawn to these shoes here. I'm picking up one way to bring up your your vibration is maybe go for a walk or a, or a jog. That would help keep your spirits up whenever you're dealing with the deception that tries to come your way to try to throw a wrench in your in what you're doing. So going outside and going for a walk or a jog or possibly even a run if you like to run and just clear your mind and keep pouring the cup to in for yourself not just for others and always keep yourself plenished I'm also picking up you have this inner warrior about you so you very you really de you definitely have inner strength about you so you're able to cut through it all and put a stop to any situation you may come across And I'm also picking up, you might want to get out in the sun more whenever you can, too. That that would do you well. Oops, excuse me. Let's see if there's anything else before I move on to the Oracle. I, I'm picking up, with, especially with this deceit here. They don't like to see you happy. And I, I'm picking up, you staying happy even with them trying to do their deceit and trying to throw wrenches in your plan, but you're still happy and go, moving forward and haven't stopped momentum. I'm picking up is really making these pa these people mad, person or people. But you know what they say, kill them with kindness. So just keep being happy and being your loving self and doing you and don't worry about that. See if there's anything else before I move on. I'm picking up everything that you've been working hard on, diligently working on. Your plan's going to come through. And I'm also picking up with this cake here. Someone might have a bakery or like loves to bake. Or thinking about that. And I'm also picking up you're going to have, that's one of the opportunities that's meant to come your way. And someone doesn't want you to have that. But it's going to happen anyways when I'm picking up. So there's nothing that they can do to stop it. Let's see. I'm going to go ahead and move on to the oracle. We're going to start with the universal messages now. When I focus on my inner light, I see the world through lens of love. So that's another reason why you need to keep your vibration up and keep coming from a loving place. So that way you see things from a from, through love, not hate, or through any source that the, the, the uh, enemy or anybody that means you ill will to want you to see. As in, they don't want you to come from that place because they want to bring you down and bring down your frequency. But keep rising above and they won't be able to reach you is what I'm picking up. So vibrate so high that you're unreachable and untouchable by your enemy. That's not coming or anyone that means you ill will. Coming from a lower, much lower frequency of energy. We have, I honor how I want to feel. So I'm picking up that if you feel like there are times that you're feeling sensitive is what I'm picking up. Don't allow yourself to cut that off. Honor however you're feeling in that moment and allow yourself to feel it. And don't feel bad for it. When I lean on certainty and faith, I change my mind about the world I see. 
So by staying in that high vibrational place and keeping your faith, you'll be able to see things the way that you need to in the way that it's meant to be seen and not through deception. So you'll be able to see above the deception that's being thrown your way is what I'm picking up. And also make sure that you tune in so you can see more from your third eye and see things from a spiritual sense is what I'm picking up from this here too. So always make sure that you keep yourself spiritually cleansed and always working on your chakras so that way you can see things or keep seeing things clearly as they're meant to be seen. And then we have the presence of love will always cast out fear. So remember, perfect love cast out fear. So keep out any fears that, that the enemy is wanting to throw your way. And when I say enemy, it doesn't always have to be physical enemies. It could be spiritual. So always keep that in mind. So whenever the word enemy comes uh, in, a, in, this, in a read, it's not always about physical beings. It could be spiritual, on a spiritual level. So that's another reason why I was picking up. Always keep your spiritual senses up so that way you can see things from a spiritual perspective to know what's going on at all times, not just in the physical. And then we have at the bottom of the deck, attack, pain, fear, judgment, and any form of separation are merely calls for help. So always keep in mind the attacks that are brought to you from a physical being more times than not, their attack is due to their own fear and judgment of themselves, and they're projecting on you. So, always come from a loving place from your part, and do not stoop to their level. Now, that doesn't mean that you have to keep those type of people in your life. No, just don't stoop to their level of doing things. Do things from a loving place, and that's not going to be in the way that they do, because then you would be just as bad as they are, is the advice that I'm picking up to say on this. Okay, now we're going to move on to the Love Messages Oracle. Let's see if there's any love messages to come through along with these messages. I know one day we will find our way back to each other. So there might be somebody from your past that wants to come back into your life. Now, of course, that's up to you, and you need to use your own discernment if you want to let that happen. And we can also see what the rest of the cards show, too. my total world so you mean a lot to this person I'm gonna I'm seeing what I'm picking up to see what needs to be seen with these two cards I'm picking up it's not necessarily whoever's gonna relate with this reading it's not gonna be someone from your past that you had a harsh breakup I'm picking up, it might have been because your past crossed, but it was not the right time yet. So you had to part ways and that this person is always thinking about you and keeping them, keeping you on their mind. So it's not, so I'm even picking up, it might not even be an ex even. It might be just somebody you crossed paths in the past in, in the physical is what I'm picking up. So... There's even though they only met you say once or a few times, they kept you on your mind, on the, kept you on their mind all this time, and that they're always thinking about you.
my higher self is with you every single day. So that being said, even though you might have met them in the presence one to few times in the past, you may be connecting with this person on a, on, with their higher self. So are both of your higher selves are just meeting up. So it might be a spiritual connection going on in some way for you. Even though I'm picking up because of this, all this coming together, they think about how they would hope for you two to come back in the physical one day because it didn't work out in the past due to it wasn't time yet, but that you might have a spiritual connection with someone and it hasn't come together back into the physical in these summers. In, in, these summers. in any way, good grief. <sighs> And that you mean a lot to this person. And you they might even mean a lot to you as well. You'll know if that resonates, obviously, for you on that part. If it, they mean the same way that they mean for you. And see if any of the cards are coming forth to say for sure. And then we have, we are forever soul and heart connected. So this is definitely somebody that your soul and heart is connected to. So again, considering what I picked up here and how everything started unfolding, you two have definitely been together in the physical in some way. Even if it wasn't, but briefly. Take it how it resonates. But I'm not picking up that the ending happened due to a fallout. But your souls and heart is intertwined in the way that, that it's meant to be. Not like a karmic. Let me make that part clear. This is not for a karmic. So that might be another reason. Okay, I'm picking up another reason why that lovers came out. There might have been a lot of deceit going on trying to keep you two apart. This seems to be coming out a lot in these readings that I've been doing lately. That's trying to keep two people apart. Along with causing issues with your your purpose or your career in some way let's see what's at the bottom of the deck i think of you whenever i feel lost in my life so this person might be still needing to do inner work at this time so that's another reason why it cannot come together in the physical because there is much work that needs to be done so this person doesn't feel lost and needs to be whole within themselves first in some way I'm going to go ahead and see what other cards before reading it all together. I'm going to see what other cards I can get with this vice versa cards. And just to let you know, I, I so because I didn't, I used my own sensory with the uh, magic, magic marker, permanent marker. But these cards, when I first got these vice versa, I originally got this before I even started my channel. Just to start the, when I, in, uh, wanting to use them for like clarifiers and all, but I did not know that the cards were like they were, so I decided so that way they don't go to waste. I just use a permanent marker, so I want to be able to use them. I'm going to see if these cards might bring forth any other information that needs to be brought before reading the whole entire overall. See what else is to be said over after all the cards have been laid out now. Come on, just one card, please. Well, that I'll, I'll count that. Okay, we have the King of Swords. Okay, so you might be connected. I'm picking up. You might be connected to somebody that represents this King of Swords. It could be a Queen of Swords too. Take it however it resonates. And this person is definitely in their authentic are very authentic even though they feel lost they're still their genuine selves they're just needing to do the inner work their shadow work in some way and they might even be quite intelligent 
and they might have a seriousness to them as well. Don't, doesn't mean that they don't have another side to them. It's just they tend to be on the serious side more times than not. It doesn't mean they don't have any other personality to them. And then, let's see, what else we're going to What else we have? All right, cards, cooperate with me. Let's see what else has to come out. I'm going to take three more cards. Then we have the uh, Two of Swords in, in uh, the reverse side. So, Clearly, you see each other is what I'm picking up, especially with this being right here with you are my total world. You see each other for who you truly are. There is no confusion as far as seeing each other, whether you saw each other in the wrong way before or not. At this present moment, the two of you are seeing each other fully for who you truly are is what I'm picking up. And there are no blinders on. But at the same time, I'm also picking up whether it's you or them, kind of has their back towards you, too, at the same time. Let me get a clarifier on that situation. To kind of clarify this two of swords in reverse. Okay. That is too many cards. One card, please. Okay, we have the Six of Pentacles. Okay, I'm picking up with this situation, especially when I feel lost here, that they know at this time they cannot give you more. They can't give you a true equal give and take at this time because they're too they're too busy not needing to work on themselves. So. Even though it might seem as though they're turning their back on you, it's not that they're doing that. It's just they know that they cannot give you what you deserve at this time is what I'm picking up. Because they want to be able to give you an equal give and take. So they want to be responsible is what I'm picking up. So that's the re another reason why it's only meant to be in the spiritual connection at this time. So it cannot come together in the physical because they need to they know they need to work on themselves and that they need to learn to feel whole in themselves as well because they won't be able to give you the kind of love you deserve if they come forward now is what I'm picking up. Excuse me, I think I I know I hiccup. I don't know if you heard it. It's what I meant to say. And then we have the five of pentacles in, re in uh, reverse. So I'm picking up because it's heads down like this. Especially with this being right here at the higher self. I feel like, especially with the, I'm feeling lost. I feel like this person feels bad for not being able to come together. Because I feel like they're they're feeling as though... You may think that they're just trying to brush you off, especially if they're constantly in this King of Swords energy. I'm going to go ahead and get some more clarifiers to clarify this Five of uh, Pentacles in, in reverse just to be sure. But that's what I'm picking up, that they're upset that they have to make you feel as though you're left out in the cold when they're not. I'm feeling like they're feeling more so left out in the cold because of what they're having to do, that they want to come forward if they can't due to that. And then we have the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. I'm picking up that they don't, they can't come forward too because they're trying to get their finances straight. And there's not, and they have lack of st st uh, stability at this time. So they're, again, especially when you have, I feel lost. That just, makes it more and just brings forth more about how they need to bring forth their stability first in their physical sense. I mean, it could be even going on in the spiritual for themselves too, but I'm picking up more physical because of the pentacles here. So they're trying to get all that straightened right now. So another thing that's keeping them from coming forward too. And I'm picking up patience from your side is definitely needed. Of course, that's up to you, 
It's your free will, but that's the advice that I'm picking up to give. The Ace of Wands. Yeah. Ace of Wands in, in, in the upright, of course. Because yeah, I know it did turn the other way, but this is the vice versa. So you only go by this side or this side. So with that being said, with this being right there with we are forever soul and con uh, soul and heart connected, there is definitely much passion between the two of you. But I'm also picking up it's not just passion. There's actual real feelings of love there especially with the soul and heart connected in this situation again i'm not picking up karmic type situation so it's not like a uh one of those ties that just doesn't that you're that you don't want attachment to it's not anything like that it's just that your souls resonate with each other type of thing and then we have the four of wands right here so that just this could be your soulmate or twin flame type of dynamic but always use your own discernment on the situation. To, just to, you, you know, evolve, as always, use your own intuition. But this is just what's being shown in this reading. Let me see what I'm getting overall before I close out the reading. And with this saying, I know one day we will find our way back to each other. They have faith in the situation that you two are... I feel like, especially with this, with we are forever soul and connected, they themselves, whether you do or not, truly feel deep down, you're meant to be together. And if it really is meant to come together, it will come together. And that they're holding out faith in this situation. Faith in God, their spiritual team, the whole dynamic. But they know right now they have to do the inner work and not feel lost and, and get their stability back whether it's financially or just their physical stability it could be a mixture of the two let's see what else i might be getting before i close out this reading and purple might be significant for you whether it's your favorite color or i'm also picking up okay that in that with this particular color here you definitely even this person can see things from a spiritual level. That's what I'm picking up with that too. And also I'm picking up the, a download right here with this lightning here. You like get downloads of information. So also with this right here and this here, along with all this and the higher self, you might even have some form of telepathic connection with each other as well. And it, it comes to, together at lightning speed. So it's not, it's actually one of those that you both have vibrational enough that you're able to connect in that way. I'm also picking up, of course, this is your free will and use your own discernment. But I'm picking up, you, if you've been thinking about walking away and turning your back on this situation too, you might want to reconsider that. I'm going to go ahead and get it. I'm going to use one of these cards for this. Uh, the anime tarot. Uh, let's see what kind of advice on that situation that I'm picking up on that particular message. What's the advice on that? I'm, I'm really picking up heavily. Patience is definitely big on this. And you know, as, as it says... As it said, patience is a virtue, and there's a reason for it because sometimes things in life takes time. And then this five of pentacles wants to come out, and it kind of came out sideways. So with that being right there, and it's supposed to be clarifying, not walking away. Don't I'm picking up be patient and not put this person out in the cold, so to speak. Just keep living your life. Don't put your life on pause. Obviously, keep doing you and, and keep living your life. Because you, you never want to just sit around waiting on anybody, of course. But just don't cut this person off completely is what I'm picking up and with the advice of being shown. But always use your own discernment and pray and meditate on the situation. So, 
I'm just trying to give myself all the cards. Just take them all. Have them all. Okay. Anyway, enough of that. Let's see what I'm getting overall. Like any other messages before I close it out. And just make sure. I'm picking up bullseye. See what I'm getting from that. I'm picking up you're going to make your target. As in, if you have a goal set for yourself, or goals, you're going to make those on point. Let's see if there's anything else. I'm also picking up with this clothes right here. Someone might be a tailor is what I'm also picking up or thinking about doing that. I tend to pick up things like that a lot on that one or something similar to it. I'm also picking up, you, you might be artistic in some way. And I even have created a a mural, I think I'm saying that correctly, or thought about doing that. And that is all I'm getting from the reading, so I'm going to go ahead and close it out. I hope this brought you some form of clarity or helped you in some way. And be sure to turn, and be sure to turn on the notification bell so you know each time I upload a new video. And like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, God bless.